I've got my shit show supervisor hat on because yesterday was a shit show over a simple meme where this is for the men, all right? I was trying to help men understand that it is okay to reach out for help. It's okay to break down. It's okay to, to seek therapy and we don't, it's okay to show your feelings. It's okay to cry sometimes. And I had so many men who flipped out about this saying that it was puss, I was pussifying men essentially by giving this information. And I'm like, what is going on here? Guys, you gotta be on your own side. It is not being a pussy to be vulnerable and show your feelings. It's actually being a pussy to hide your feelings and suppress them and being afraid of what's gonna happen if you show them, that's being a pussy. I'm gonna read you the definition of vulnerability. The quality or state of being exposed to possible harm or attack, okay? So that's being brave when you feel a certain way and instead of hiding it, you're speaking your truth. That is powerful, that is powerful. The pussies are the ones hiding their feelings and afraid of being attacked and what are they gonna think about me? What are they gonna say, okay? So it was so ridiculous. I deleted all these comments because it was like misinformation on my page. I'm not even gonna keep that negative energy up there. So, but let's talk about what vulnerability is not, okay? It's not being a doormat. No, I'm not telling you guys to, to be a doormat or it's not acting pouty or childlike. Like, oh, I didn't get my way. And like, so one of my friends gave me this example, her ex-boyfriend, um, and it's an ick, it's a total ick. He was like pouting, like, because she didn't put her Mountain Dew, this was a long time ago, um, her Mountain Dew can, and she didn't throw it away. She left it out. So he took that as, that means you don't love me because you know how important it is for me that you don't leave those, like something like pout, pouting. And then another example she gave was that, um, oh, he had driven her mom and grandmother somewhere and herself, and he was mad that they didn't, they didn't compliment me on my driving. That's weird. That's not being vulnerable. <laughs> being vulnerable is when you have feelings and you're not ex afraid to express them, but not acting like a pouty child. That is not what we're doing. It's not crying all day long, all the time. Be discerning about it. Be discerning about the timing, the delivery. Um, you know, yes, girls don't want to date a whiny baby. That is not vulnerability, okay? But it is speaking like a grown ass man standing up for yourself if you don't like something your partner's doing without being afraid of what their reaction is going to be. It's speaking in a healthy, non-argumentative non -argumentative manner, okay? It's not whining that you didn't get your way. It's not withholding. Um, it's it, You want to speak up for yourself without worrying about what they're going to say, but you don't do it in, in a way that it's going to start a fight. You're just like, hey, babe. You know, when you said this to me, it made me feel some kind of way, you know, and you say it very calmly and you don't want to be an emotional whore. Like don't tell your partner every feeling that you're feeling, every insecurity uh, all day, every day. I think that's what some people think it means. And no, it is the important things you, you pick and choose to be discerning about the things you're going to talk to your partner about. And it's not complaining it's, it's not negative communication. It's just being open with your feelings. And yeah, it's okay to cry sometimes, but absolutely no. Just like you don't want your partner complaining and crying and venting all day, every day. It's the same thing. We don't want that either. Don't be overly emotional. But when it counts, when it's important, express your feelings. And if you don't feel comfortable with your partner or if your partner, like, looks differently at you for expressing your feelings, you're with the wrong partner. That doesn't mean the message shouldn't be, oh, I should never be vulnerable. Oh, I guess the look what happens. It means I need to have a better picker. I need to choose better, more emotionally mature women. You know, you want to, you want to know somebody's character before you're in a relationship with them. There are loads of toxic people out there. Most people are dysfunctional. 
That's part of the thing I help people with in coaching. I coach both men and women relationship coaching, and I know the complaints on both sides, and they're both valid, but we got to do work on ourselves, right? If you have toxic behaviors, you're attracting toxic people. There, there are no healthy women out there, guys, who want to be with someone who's toxic. The, it, you're, you, so you got to look at why am I attracting this? Why am I picking this? Am I picking women based on chemistry and looks alone? Or am I really taking time to get to know them and their character, right? If you want a high caliber woman, you need to be doing work on yourself. You need to make sure that you're up. Would you date you? Would you marry you? You know, you got to look at yourself because if you want a woman of a, who's like, high quality and works on themselves and you know she looks good she works she she works out every day um she's intelligent like what are you doing to for your personal growth and development she wants that girl wants to be with a guy who works on himself okay and not a guy who thinks that showing emotions is pussification that's the main message guys we're trying to put out there yesterday and yeah we're gonna get heartbroken sometimes we're gonna it's, it's a learning curve not everybody is meant for us and that's okay but when you don't show your feelings and you suppress them you are actually causing like keeping your feelings in is very you're they're still living in your body they're they're still there that's why people get triggered like it comes out of nowhere and suddenly you're acting like you have these grown ass adults acting like children because they didn't work on themselves they push down their feelings their whole life and then they're in an argument and they start acting like two and three year olds that's what happens when you don't work on yourself guys that's what i help people with is all these uh, subconscious programs and patterns you know we got to help get rid of those and you got to do the work. You got to do the work. Hire a coach, see a therapist, you know, before you get into the relationship and have a toxic dis dysfunctional one because you didn't work on yourself and your feelings. You suppressed them thinking this is manly. And look, I, f I, f I feel for you guys because society gives a lot of fucked up programming, right? There's a lot of mixed messages. I, I know. I feel you. But that's what, that's why this is all about. That's what I try to teach and that it is not being brave to hide your feelings. It's being brave to, to actually be authentic, not put on a facade, like nothing bothers you. You know, women see right through that. And of course, like I said, there's loads of toxic women who are not emotionally mature. And those are the ones who might punish you or attack you for showing your feelings they might feel like get the ick right they're going to be grossed out because you were honest but remember this is about being discerning what are you saying what's the timing delivery that's something that i help guys with um in, in my coaching practice is you know you want to not over over be over emotional and it's it's not about that at all like i said you don't want to be an emotional whore that's not what we're saying over here <laughs> So there is a balance, there's a fine line, um, and there's timing is so important. So I hope this made sense to you. Um, I am not gonna accept any negative stuff. There is nothing wrong with telling men that they're allowed to have feelings and emotions. We are all humans, right? We're spiritual beings having a human experience, and that involves emotions and feelings. So if you're denying your emotions, you're hurting yourself physically, spiritually on every level and you are never going to be in a healthy relationship as long as you're not addressing this and you're you know, all of these subconscious patterns will come out every time every time so if you want something healthy and you know you, you can hire a coach hire me go to day one life and i offer a free discovery call there is help and that's what my point is seek help don't just keep living the same thing over and over uh, same shit, different relationship. It's because you didn't change yourself. That's why. So don't be a doormat. We're not saying that. Learn to be, a, 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 women like nice guys. We don't like doormats. So learn to be the nice guy who can also stand up for himself and also communicate his feelings in a healthy, intelligent way. Okay? Hope this made sense for you. And I am welcoming comments. So let me know your experience and if you um, have 
used to be this way and please comment so other people can see and learn from you. All right. Well, thank you so much. And I hope you guys have a wonderful day.